the bottom line is hand washing. Very simple. Hand washing and uh, also, as much as possible, avoiding contact with people who are sick. And uh, obviously, there are people may, may not have always water around them, the tub around them, so it's normal that they use sanitizers to make sense. My area of focus is to train uh, public professionals to prepare for disasters in general, including pandemic. With people who have to continue to use uh, uh, elevators, and people who have to continue to use ATM machines, they have to continue to, to go to work. And uh, so it's very important that people do not panic, but to do what is recommended by public health authorities. I'm uh, confident that uh, with working with public health authorities and uh, working more toward preparedness, we, this will this also shall pass, and we will continue to be, to increase our uh, preparedness level and to work toward increasing the surveillance systems to be better prepared and better protected. This is a task of, uh, of public health authorities and uh, we continue to learn from ex experience. And uh, each time there's a crisis, it uh, brings us uh, at a higher level because we learn from mistakes or failures or things we didn't do as we should have done. And then it increases our preparedness level. We are as prepared as both sides are. So whatever it is that we have to deal with, we have to deal with it. And that's what we have this grant, so that we have communicated with, with the stakeholders on both sides. We increase communication, we have communication protocol. So we work toward uh, work, uh, bringing everybody together to the, to the point where they understand it's in, our, in everybody's interest to be prepared, to have a strong surveillance system and to work together for, to, to, to be prepared and to be protected against any uh, emergency.